Let's get moving, people. We're back. There's my email notification. There's another email notification. Back to the grind. So in case you guys didn't know, I, I play guitar. Well, I like to say I play guitar. I feel like I feature so much of my eating stuff on this channel. In fact, this is an eating channel and everything like that. So you guys don't really get to see a lot more to my life. And one of my goals, I guess moving forward from here into the next year is to show you guys more of my life. So sometimes I can actually play guitar somewhat decent and other times I just end up just sucking a lot. Oof, gosh. Let's play Name That Tune. Comment section, let's go. I have no idea why it smells like Mrs. Fields out here. I don't know why, I just got like the biggest headache in the world. Hipster crew checking in. But guess what guys, we hit 95 pounds for four reps for three sets. So I just, you know what, I, I really want to take my time. I'm not going to rush anything, get into two plates. I, I think that I, I can get to two plates right now, but I'm going to wait until next week when I go heavy for my next push session. But I uh, did some incline presses and got 75 pounds for a few sets there. I got this really bad headache midway through my workout. So I, I, when I get exertion headaches, guys, I don't like to push it. The heavier I went, the worse it got. So I decided to just finish off my workout, kind of just cap it there. Yeah, I'm going to go back home. But more importantly, I'm going to go get the new Call of Duty that just came out. So I I'm stoked about that. I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, time to go get us a game. I haven't done this in a few months. Boom. New Call of Duty, guys. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Sorry, Destiny 2. We got a new uh, game to play. Time to give this a shot. Oh, and I just remembered I asked to install. A few moments later. I'm gonna say right now that my Call of Duty days really go back to Modern Warfare 2. Can you guys just give this video a like if you were a Call of Duty Modern Warfare player? Cause that was me for like a long time. Let's just see if this uh, is as good, which I highly doubt, but we'll give it a try. All right, so long story short, I played some campaign, but this this is taking, this installing content, this is taking forever to freaking install. First game, first victory. My kill to death ratio sucks, but I don't care. Guys, you gotta add me on Xbox Live, Eric the Electric. Let's make it happen. Well, last episode of the Stranger Things, it's been a good season so far. Very good season. Oh yeah, chicken and vegetables. So guys, I'm actually a little bit blown away. I did the trick or cheat challenge uh, a few weeks ago and I was furiously rummaging through my, my, my pantry and I came upon something and I thought, what the fudge? I forgot to eat my delicious vanilla fudge that was sent to me. Everyone, this is the sweet and delicious vanilla fudge, traditional country style. This was sent to me by my subscriber, Lucy McGonagall. So if you're watching Lucy, thank you very much. I forgot to eat the fudge. <sighs> All right, well to go with my cereal, I decided to uh, have some fudge. 
Ooh, ooh, this smells extra delicious. So we have fat, of which is saturated, and then we have carbohydrates, of which are sugars. I actually just find that really interesting for whatever reason, but it smells amazing. Alrighty, so fudge, 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 fudge. Look at that, people. This is just crazy, crazy, crazy food extravaganza. Oh my goodness gracious. Are you kidding me? That melts in your mouth. Wow. That literally melts in your mouth. Guys, I can't, I can't even describe this. This is just amazing. Like, look, just look at that. That's a nine out of 10. Lucy, if you're watching, I love you. The next day. Alrighty, everybody. So I'm, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Alrighty, guys. Let me just say for the past month, two months, really, I've gotten into a phase where I am usually not having a meal during the day, usually just getting all my calories in at night. So I'm trying to space that out during the day now, I'm trying to uh, just break through this this strength plateau that I've been on. I really want to get to two plates again, and I really want to uh, just get the strength ball moving again. So we got to eat some food. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that I'm taking a vitamin B12 supplement now. Alrighty guys, so I am back from the gym. I'm gonna show you guys what my diet's gonna look like from now on. And I'm really gonna be pushing the calories in. I just realized that now more than ever, I really need to uh, kind of just break through the strength plateau that I've been facing. So yeah, we gotta pound some calories down. That being said, the first thing I got, well, I'm not really changing a lot of my foods. I'm still gonna have rice cakes. I'm still gonna have cereal, believe it or not. I mean, why wouldn't you wanna have more cereal? This is the uh, Nature's Path Organic Sunrise Crunchy Cinnamon. This stuff is amazing, this was only $2.99, so this is actually one of my favorite flavors. Uh, cashew milk right there, just the same old stuff, guys. Some apples and pears. You guys know how I do it. Apple sprouts and cauliflower right there. Alrighty, guys, in this bag right here, I got some, well, I'm just gonna say that I have been starting to eat more meat lately, so chicken is very, very cheap right now. This was normally $7.26, and I got it for three, about three bucks, and that's uh, about a pound and a half of chicken, so a pretty cheap protein source. And yes, Raisin Bran, guys. One of my favorites, one of my favorites. I'm an old man at heart. Lettuce, I had to get some more peanut butter to go with my nuts. Yes, these. And the Brussels sprouts right there. And I'm probably gonna do like a, uh, little onion combo. I don't actually really ever eat pearl onions, so these are gonna be really interesting to, to try. And then last but not least, I had to get some mayonnaise. That is it for the grocery haul, guys. See you in the next part of the video. What's up, guys? This is Instagram. We are doing a live stream right now, so you guys can actually say what's up to yourselves, because I do this in every single video, and I think it's super important to feature you guys, my, my people that have helped me on my YouTube channel, I'm giving back. Because I want, I want you guys to say what's up to yourselves. I want you guys to say, hey, just to know. Hold on, let's move this a little bit closer. Say what's up, Instagram. Hi. Alrighty, guys. So here's the thing. I always buy this this imitation crab meat at the, uh, the store I go to. And I've just been eating it the way it is. One of my favorite parts about eating sushi is the actual crab meat that comes in it. And funny thing is... This stuff is actually really delicious. I just don't know how else to eat it. So I'm gonna try something uh, a little bit different. Food processor. And there you have it. It smells like pretty delicious crab dip. Let's try it out. All right, so I actually pulled out the Venge Sevenfold t-shirt for this. I've never actually made crab salad before. This is even a resemblant of a salad. I did get a little serving because I have like nothing to dip this in. It's like the worst thing to make dip. It's not even a dip thing, but whatever. It looks good. It's the worst thing when you don't have like crackers or something to like dip this in, even though that's not dip at all. I don't know what I'm saying. 
Wow. Well, I can say that that's surprisingly delicious with the garlic. I highly recommend to make that. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more uh, little creative Eric recipes in these videos. It is, it is Thursday and I actually just got done finishing the sushi video which is gonna go up tomorrow. I mentioned in my last video, for those of you who actually care about lifting of any sort for me and my whole like quest to be stronger, but I did a deload about a week ago. I did it a little bit before my Texas trip and actually kind of carried over to my Texas trip. Getting back into lifting heavy again, I pulled 435 for, uh, for three the, the day that I actually got back and I tried to do 465 <laughs> uh, two days ago and it just was not coming off the ground. But I am gonna be doing heavy squats for like the first time in uh, let's say like two weeks today. So let's see how they go. I The heaviest I did the last time I squatted was like 365 I think for, for a double. So it's just gonna be interesting to see where my strength is at. Let's go to the gym. You guys hear that that sizzle in the background that is the the sizzle of chicken being cooked what can i say guys it it definitely i don't really feel a difference switching back to eating meat again i have to admit guys i just i like the taste of meat yeah 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 you know what guys there's certain points in time where you kind of just have to sit back and go it feels good to be an old man and you guys know me for my love of cereal sometimes i just gotta be an old man Here we go, cereal guys. It's cereal time and it's old man time. You guys probably are shaking your heads at me right now wondering what the hell I'm doing with this, but guys, I feel like I'm 80 years old. Whenever I eat Raisin Bran, who cares? I love it. Let me just say everybody that I have no idea why, especially after, what, 15 years of eating this stuff, it just always makes me feel amazing inside whenever I do eat it. Carbs before bed never really hurts anybody. Just take my word for it. Everybody, this is the point in time in the video where I can say I'm ready for the best of both worlds. Not quite this yet. You guys did see in my, my last little Houston trip that I got a, a, a six, almost six pound box of just marshmallows. As a cereal lover, I'm excited to get into this. This has 2,000 grams of sugar in it, a little less than 10,000 calories. Don't worry, this is gonna happen. But I left something out of the grocery haul for this video. I'll let the suspense build right now. I'll let it build. It's building. I feel it building. Do you feel it building? I do. What do you guys know that I love a lot of in this world? Yes, cereal, chocolate, and peanut butter. We've combined them. 
it's the best of both worlds. Enthusiasm. It's here. I know. I have it. Because we have chocolate peanut butter Cheerios, everyone, this is glorious. I saw this on social media and I was like, why do we not have these in California yet? It sucks because we get all the cool stuff last. I, I know it's the worst thing about being on the West Coast, but we have it, guys. We have the chocolate butter... <laughs> One more time. We have the chocolate peanut butter Cheerios. Now everyone, this is actually um, the family size. I never actually buy family size boxes of cereal because I, I, I think cereal should be something you should have a variety of and I hate eating 17 servings of, of cereal straight and then buying another box, but who cares about that? Let's just try this out. I'm so excited to get into this. You best believe I'm breaking out the golden spoon for this one because I have high hopes for this. Snapchat crew. You guys get these reviews first, not just for food challenges, even for cereal reviews. Go follow me on Snapchat and Eric Electric. And here we are, everybody, with some, <laughs> with a gigantic bowl of cereal and some 40 calorie almond milk. We've combined it, peanut butter and chocolate, the best of both worlds. That is the title of this video. I mean, what did you think I was talking about? Something other than food? <laughs> Now everybody, I'm just gonna say that this has four grams of fat per serving, which is very, very, very interesting for me. It smells like Reese's Puffs. That's a good sign. There we are, guys. The first bite. Spoon drop moment. Are you serious? That is mind blowing. It's so good. I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I'm gonna do this. It's so good. Now everyone, I can't even begin to describe to you how excited I am about this, but I sincerely hope that this stays around because this is my new favorite flavor of Cheerios. Let me say that one more time. This is my new favorite flavor of Cheerios and possibly the best cereal, quite possibly. I'm not gonna go out and, and, and say anything. I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, quite frankly, because this is amazing. Just just go, just buy this as soon as you, you see it in the store. Or just go, go online and find it. If I could give it better than a 10 out of 10 rating, that's what this would get right now. So good. Dude, I need to cut my hair. This is just absurd. Well, everybody, I just want to say thanks so much for taking the time to watch again another video. I know we had a lot of cereal in this video. I want to let you guys know how I was doing after doing two food challenges in 48 hours, yet I still have people on that sushi video going, Eric! <laughs> How did you not eat that, dude? Even people questioning my speed all of a sudden, even though I set the record for, for Sushi Roll. Logic just seems to escape a lot of people, but you know what? Oh well, guys. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me, even if they're restaurant challenge videos. I know my restaurant challenge videos don't actually get a lot of views in comparison to, you know, these big, massive calorie challenge videos that you guys like to see from me. Speaking of that, we got Thanksgiving coming up, guys, or should I say, Cheatsgiving. So I hope you guys are ready for an epic video. Before I get to Cheatsgiving, though, I'm gonna start my shopping here next week, but I do have a, uh, another sweet challenge plan, so you guys better stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't already, check me out on Patreon. I say this in every single video, guys, but I just have to keep reiterating it. It really does help out the channel tremendously, even when I go out and spend a bunch of money on a bunch of food and eat all of that food for you guys. It's basically a reward system for us creators. That means that you guys can go onto our pages and actually just select a reward tier, whether it's $2, $5, $10, $20, anything, guys. Anything helps the channel. So if you guys want to go check that out, it would mean a lot to me. And I have to add a new logo to the uh, social media plaque that I show to you guys at the very end of all these videos. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch as well as Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you will know the drill. Thanks for watching the video, everybody, and go right ahead.